their team then to take a bite of that 400,000 US dollars or bite that crown if you will. Let's see how they play this out. Evos Legends versus RRQ. Game four, match point. That's right. Go Cray with unlimited data from you, Mobile, with Killer Unlimited GX30. Well, enough promotions. Here comes Donkey here, clearing out the wave of side with one. Gonna get them the head start. Both sides giving utmost respect because one misstep could have cost that first blood. Aura now regrouping towards the top side here. He's got those charges already intact. And yes. one will get that sort of buff in his hands. Yeah, Aura was able to cut the wave down, uh, was trying to cut the wave, but was deferred by the Kaja. By the Kaja. They have to fall back here. Lemon, he won't be able to 2v1 this very easily as long as they play around that execution strike. Wrecked as well as Luminaire have options because that third hit hurts a lot. So as long as Luminaire lands that charge onto Lemon just before it hits, he can cancel the ability. Yeah, of course, having Rondo online would be great to deal with Lemon, but here comes Sin also protecting uh, him for a little since. Liam having a little bit of a back and forth against the export. Donkey usually on that tank. Well, of course, building a little bit of semi build on that export to still dish out a whole lot in this sort of lineup. But now, 1 minute 36 seconds here, it's just boots being fought over as we see the next turtle up for grabs coming in shortly. Yeah, level four has been hit by the Chunga here. They want to contest with this bottom river crab. Let's see how they want to play this out because right now it's a 4v3. Lemon right on top. Well, he's just hugging by the corners Turtle of the wall. Darkness is system is all the rest of the members of RRQ away while Masha, of course, having a little bit of trouble to actually go out of this turret range. And if they do, that Kaja, if it goes in level four, might just get that Divine Judgment to pull off Masha away from it. So Aura will just play really safely to make sure that Evil Legends still have this sort of structure still left intact. Exactly. And even though Aura doesn't have, you know, the best wave clear, he does have a really strong passive that allows to make him stay in lane a little bit longer as long as he has multiple health bars and he can actually gain an entire health bar if he just waits it out. It does have a cooldown, but, you know, as long as he minimizes the amount of damage, he can survive in lane a lot longer in comparison to Lemon, who ha the only potential he has is just strong wave clear. Well, not only is a strong lane clear, there's also a whole lot of damage output much later on. Uh, heading it towards that mid game, but of course early game a little bit weaker than what it's supposed to be But as for Lemon, he get a little bit of free passage in towards the back just to uh, Negate that wave from crashing towards the middle. So this will be an auto push coming from Rex Regum Keon yeah. And they are now in the really good lead to actually push the top as well as secure that turtle. Okay, it looks like they're going for a lane swap here. Masha is going to transverse to the bottom side of the map. She's going to take a little bit of damage against Lemon. She can't win this matchup just yet, but she'll take her time. The rest of the team is going to top side to hopefully contest for this turtle. Now, turtle has already been built away by the Akai. Both sides now just waiting for the enemies to make their move. Yeah. Well, RRQ, of course, Oh. Trying to beat Tutu as much gold as he can, and they are well on their way to perhaps complete that Blade of Despair first Wait for Tutu. Wait a minute. Did Sin just take both both camps by himself single-handedly oh. with a Meteor Shower? Like, Looks like oh it. boy. Looks like Topside is taking quite a bit of damage. Luminaire is hurt, but Sin's in trouble. Seven Force, he's gonna get solo first killed. Blood. One actually finds the lead. He's gonna walk on there scot-free. Something is different. Something is very, very different in this game. The atmosphere is not the same. Both are giving too much respect. Nobody has made the play just yet. Well, we know Evos Legends have been started off, but here comes Ben going in for that Divine Judgment. It's then gets turned around with that new West Blast. Beautiful play coming in from Donkey. He's talking about plays really nicely done. I mean, the Divine Judgment was looking pretty good until he flickered away and got the support from... Oh, no, wait. Lemon, hold on. Lemon is forced to flicker on out of there. They're going for the dive. They're in trouble. Aura has too much damage and too much life. He flickers on out of there. Such a clean dive coming in from Evos Legends. They're back into shape. I just love how Juan was actually tanking all the blow because he knows it's the Masha who will be right in front of the Terizla. But now, Turtle going in the hands of Rex Rigumkia, but they don't really care. They already got three kills and they open up the bottom lane. 
I think they should be able to take the bottom tier one with no issues whatsoever. And RRQ, they realize, hey, okay, you're going to take that down. You have to go to the top side. Oh, no. Mead is in trouble now. How do you respond to this, RRQ? Well, the, for the starters, they're going to be trying to deal with Aura first before anything else. Aura now already cutting off the wave as well. And they need to actually find a way to go back into the base or just to save themselves. Here comes Vindo dealing with Luminary. They don't really want to commit in towards catching out the leader. Now, over on the top side here, Tuturu, of course, uh, not really facing all too much of a danger, but will soon be facing off against Donkey. They're in trouble. Oh no, Evos, they're trying to set something up here. They're going for the dive. One pops the Zaman Force. He's coming in wow. with the final insanity. He's going to secure the kill and clean this up. Finn is going down as well. It's going to be a two for nothing. Evos, the aggressors this time round, they found their confidence again. Evil's Legends now having such a huge lead after taking blow after blow. Now Leo will be giving a free kill, thank you very much. And Evil's Legends here will be pushed back with the Hurricane Dance. New walks away alive for the temporary moment. But here comes Nessanata. Might just actually connect here. Donkey! Oh. Whoa! One HP left, and same goes to Donkey here, saving his immortality. But here comes Finn, trying to pull back one, and that will be a catch onto one. Finally, they shut down Juan, telling him, no, we will not take this disrespect any longer. RRQ finally get the kill back. Oh, boy. Of course, so we're going to update the score to one for RRQ. So, we see Marsha still having a little bit of that free push against that Terizla. Now, here soon. comes the next turtle here with Lumine setting up the tempo oh. there. Sid being locked against the wall, but Sid Lunar gets caught out. He's rotating right around the Rosie. And, well, there will be a little bit of that movement coming in with Donkey with the saving grace. Woo. Able to just charge right on forward to be, build enough space to get out of there. And Donkey continues his onslaught for now, burning away as a team, making sure he's maintaining that distance, controlling the area. And I think Evos should be able to get this turtle no problem whatsoever. One just gets the turtle buff, which is going to be huge because now the next time he goes for that dive, he's almost ensured to kill somebody. And now that's 2k goal lead and well to ensure that they match the land those kills they still need to make sure that the coast is clear lemon so far hasn't been able to actually join any of these fights that proved to be one problem for the side of rex regular kill and we know how slow a Turizla moves yeah i mean Turizla, the only thing that stops him is his mobility he has to land the revenge strike to get the initial movement speed to maybe close the gap half the time but now aura he sees the potential death threat he Quickly flickers on out of it to save himself. Lemon on the top side is able to tank a lot. He's waiting for the cooldown so he can clear the wave one more time. Oh, Luminar Blast just to secure this turret. They can't move forward. The threat of getting stuck by the Luminar Blast is just too high. Well, Luminar just making sure that he stays all the way up front in case of any sort of shots being pulled out. Especially Sin not really having the most effective runs as the Chang or getting blocked out most of the time, but here comes uh -oh, Lian uh -oh. going in for the Hurricane Dance. Pushing Donkey all the way back, but remember, he still has the Fergot armor. They popped up, but here comes Phil Commitment over onto one, and RRQ finds the window to actually fight back. That was a great catch coming from Finn. He held up his Divine Judgment. He knew he just needed to land it. And once Wan walked up a little too far, flickers forward, locks him down, sets it up for his team. One for nothing in favor of Rex Rigo Keon. And now Aura is just gonna solo it. Lemon can't do much. Well, Flicker coming from Lemon, trying to actually catch onto Aura. I do agree, there's nothing much of a business for uh -oh. him. But now, Divine Judgment will secure the kill for Rex Rigo Keon. It's gonna be two for nothing now as well as they're going for the return kill but they don't actually get it liam is able to use that thousand Lord, pounder to get on soon. out of there well stops the recall right there for the time being and yep uh back to what you were saying uh i i do believe that evil's legends of course they already count their blessings way early on and now what could they possibly rake up here other than Bed Lord? Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure because right now we're coming into the later stages of the game. The game needs to end at some point. Evos is 4K goal, uh, has a 4K goal lead, but we know that our RQ are very comfortable uh, when they are at a deficit, especially when it's only 4K. They need a 7K goal lead like they did in game two to kind of convincingly take this victory. Luminaire takes a little bit of damage from Liam here, but it's not gonna progress to anything too lethal just yet. Topside in full control over 
for RRQ. Let's see how they play this out. Ooh, look at the respect. The moment he gets hit by the Desonata or sees it, he's like, nah, I'm out of here. Yeah, they were expecting the same sort of the uh, sort of a reaction coming in from Evos as we look at Donkey. Already trying to actually spot out Liam there. Shadow Mask being purchased by Vin, hoping to actually surprise members of Evil Legends, especially when they go in for this attempt. And there we go! One great pull coming in. Divine Desperate locks into it one as he opens up the Zavon board. He gets himself safe. Look at the chill. Look at the move. And it will be Sin going in for that double kill. And now they're going on in lockdown. Looking for Lemon as well as they will try to take down the Resurrection of Jim. Liam! Oh. Ahead. Liam! He walks away alive. This is huge. This was a huge play. RRQ were looking to try and make a huge play, but instead they get punished. Donkey was able to turn it around, and now Aura, he knew his team had that fight in the bag. The choke point was too much. Lord is under Evos' control. Well, Donkey looked like King right there, or could you call him Donkey Kong? Well, of course, with respect to him, he was the one who actually backed all the way up for one. And what a perfect play that was. I thought one for sure would have fall. Yeah, I agree. Like, that was not looking good for him. They pushed him into this choke point, which Chang'e was like, I am going to clap you guys. And all of a sudden, Luminaire, as well as Donkey Kong, rushing on through with Rex getting out with the Rondo. That turned around so quickly. Oh boy, Whoa. but this is it. Luminaire does get the initial catch, but they don't capitalize on it. They don't have the right conditions. And not to mention, Lord is pushing up on through the top side. Beautiful camera display. Thank you very much, observers on the desk. And now here comes Donkey, already in the front line. Got that mortality up on uh -oh, line, pulls uh -oh. it back. There Sand. we go. Donkey will come in, blast the Zani to take out the Chang Er. And Evil Slash is forcing their way through. They are trying to fight game number six. Yep, they're going to break tier two here, but they don't have an inhibitor. That's what they want. Donkey could go for something here, but they go. They get Finn gets the initial. He gets the initial Divine Judgment, but Rex is able to get on out of there. Luminaire is getting pushed back, and now it's time for the one show as he goes on forward with the Seven Force. Lemon. He secures it. He does it. They break the inhibitor. They're going to get topside now, but the rest of the team is respawning. Aura. They're looking to end the Aura. game. They've Aura. done it. They've done it. Rex, they bring it to game. Six. Mom.